it's Nicole the Math Lady. Today we're working on writing fractions as decimal numbers. Okay, well how does that happen? Well, let's go back to what we first know about fractions. We know that all fractions are division problems. Okay, so we also learned about decimals when it relates to division, so hmm, division has something to do with this. Let's set this up like a division problem that we recognize. Five goes into two, I'm going to put my decimal down right there because I think I'm going to need it. Let's divide. 5 goes into 2, 0 times. 5 goes into 20, 4 times. And I bring my decimal up. So there you go. The equivalent for 2 fifths in decimal form is 0.4. Let's try it with 3 eighths. Remember, a fraction is just a division problem. Let's set it up. 8 goes into 3, and I think we're going to need at least one decimal point. I'm going to put my decimal right there because I know we're going to need it. 8 goes into 3, 0 times. 8 goes into 30, 3 times. That's 24. And we have a 6, so I'm going to add another 0 and keep going. 8 goes into 60, 7 times. And I have a 4 left over. I'm going to put in another 0 and keep going. 8 goes into 40 five times, which is 40, and I'm out with the zero there. So the decimal equivalent for 3 eighths is 0.375. As long as you can remember, it's just a division problem. It's really easy to do. And what happens when you have a mixed number? Well, we know mixed number can be turned into an improper fraction. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 9 fourths, right? And now it's just a division problem, so do it. 4 goes into 9. I'm going to add my decimal and at least a 0. Here we go. 4 goes into 9 two times. 4 goes into 10 two times. Add another 0. 4 goes into 25 times. And we're out with the 0. So the decimal equivalent for 2 and a fourth is 2.25. Okay, that's simple. Simple. <laughs> Remember, fractions are just division problems. And when you divide, you can turn it into a decimal. Okay, that's it for me. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.